There's a great question today about how to add an image to a Google Place mark inside of My Maps, which is a wonderful custom maps feature inside of the Google Maps software. I'm going to take a minute here to show you that today. Uh, I am currently at the Google homepage. I am logged into a Google account, as you can tell by my login credentials up here in the right hand corner of the Google homepage. I'm also using Mozilla Firefox on a Microsoft Windows XP uh, PC today. To model this activity, I'm going to leave one tab open to Google's homepage, and then I'm going to multitask and open another tab here, and also to Google's homepage, and then click on Map, so that I can show you this activity. Once here, I'm going to go ahead and take a search for, or, or perform a search for, Citizens Bank Park, which, if you're not familiar with Philadelphia Phillies, uh, in Philadelphia. Once I do that search, it comes up. I'm going to use my sliding Google zoom scale over here to zoom in a color, get a better view. That's right. I'll center it slightly. Great. Now, on the left side of the screen, you may see My Maps right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on My Maps. That sidebar will pop up and it will give me the opportunity to choose create, or excuse me, the, the chance to create and share a custom map. Because this is the first map that I've created on this account, Google is also giving me a short video tutorial here on how to create my maps. It's a great little uh, snapshot into the software, and it's only three minutes long. I recommend you watching it. But I know this already, so I'm going to go ahead and click Get Started. And when I do that, I can name my my map. So I'll just call this Philly Sports. I have the option for a description, which I'm not going to take advantage of right now. And I'm going to leave my privacy setting to public uh, so that but hopefully people around the web could find this or I could share it with anyone at any time. Now, I'm currently in edit mode of this My Map and the reason that I, or how I know that is because I have an additional couple tools at the top of my map. The hand icon is currently selected. I'm not going to use that one right now, but it's just to move the map around. Then I have the place mark setting and then the line tools. I'm going to click once on the place mark tool and it'll give me the place mark over here to this back part. Click. I can name this location inside my mind map, and I'm going to leave this like this right now. And I'm going to come over to my other tab, okay? And I'm going to go to Google Images, and I'm going to search by using the advanced image search features inside of Google right here, so that I can find a, uh, a photograph that is legal for me to use. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click, or excuse me, paste Citizens Bank Park. Then the piece that I'm very interested in in this advanced search is the usage rights, which is the second to last option. And you may notice it says usage rights, return images that are, and the default setting is not filtered by license. I want to drop this down and I'm going to choose something a little bit more uh, available. Uh, let's say I'll choose labeled for reuse with modification in case I want to edit this uh, particular image for anything. So I choose that option. I'm going to click on my Google search and I'll get some results. This is Bank Park here in Philadelphia. The first result here is a good example, so I will click on that. I get the image view, the full image, or excuse me, full size image. And then I get a browser that is just showing me the image itself. I'm going to right click on that image. The second option in Firefox here is copy image location. That will give me a, a URL to this image copied to my temporary clipboard inside of Windows. So I choose that. I'm going to come back to Google My Map. Next to the description, you'll see plain text, rich text, or edit HTML. I'm going to choose the rich text option for what I'm trying to do here because when I choose that, I get a real nice feature. Uh, in a toolbar to edit uh, the, the content that I'm going to put in this text box. To the far right is the, is the option I'm looking for. That is the insert image icon. I'm going to click that one. Google is going to cue me to enter the URL for the image. I'm going to use Control V to paste. Of course I can right click and paste as well. That puts the image URL into the system. Hit OK. And there is my image of Philadelphia uh, Citizen Bank Park. If I click on it one time, you'll see that I get handles on the corners. The nice thing is when I try to resize this to fit in this small text field, Google locks the ratio for me, so it'll always stay proportioned to the original image. I'm going to go ahead and show it. 
And there, I have a nice sh small image inside of my text field here to share with anyone that's going to see this MyMap. Thanks for listening, and uh, good luck with Google My Maps.